Okay, so here we are at 2423 Caladium Road in the Arlington area of Jacksonville, Florida, 32211. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath, 1165 square foot. Originally built in 1956. Some of the items here are original, but you can tell that the owners um, have kept it up over the years, for, uh, com comparatively speaking here. So this uh, property just hit the market and we're gonna go through the, um, the renovation expectations to turn it into a rental property. Um, obviously the other option would be to uh, renovate and flip it, so uh, that's a whole other discussion. Right now the roof uh, shingles appear to be in good shape. You got some soffit repairs that need to be done. Um, you could leave the shingles as is. I'd give them a five to ten year lifespan. Um, a lot of the times we uh, like to just replace the roof so that we know our end buyers are going to be happy for a long time with no roof leaks. So our budget includes a new roof. The exterior concrete block off grade. Uh, we will have to repipe the house, uh, replace the drain lines that are outdated. Um, so to make sure everything goes smoothly, we would have that replaced. But since it's off grade, it would be a little bit less expensive as they can just crawl under the house and replace it. Uh, the yard in the front and back is in pretty good shape. Just needs some minor cleanup. Other than that, there's not uh, too much to do on the landscaping. We would pressure wash the exterior of the building and give it a fresh coat of paint. There's some minor wood repairs uh, again on the soffits and then here on the shed which houses the water heater and the washer and dryer hookup and we'll go through there in a little bit. That's the neighbor's car keeping the house safe. It un doesn't come with the place of course. So. Now for a rental property, most of these doors can be saved and repainted and we would advise to do so. The flooring throughout the house is original wood floors and they are in wonderful shape. There's a, some kind of tape around the perimeter of the floors that would need to be scraped up and we would light, lightly refinish the uh, floors throughout. So that would be a minimal expense. The uh, ceilings are flat and they don't need to be painted. Um, so we would just touch up the wall paint throughout, touch up the doors, and that would leave that alone. Here in the back we have an enormous sliding glass door which opens from both sides, um, either side, and uh, it just needs the rollers replaced. I would uh, remove this, uh, this um, sticker they have for um, some kind of thermal covering, or we could repair it either way. So um, we'll go step out now to the backyard. Or here has a little lock there. So as you come out, you get some nice brick steps onto a screened-in patio, which is in wonderful shape. Some of the screen needs to be replaced or repaired, and we would just do just that. Uh, we'd pressure wash and repaint the patio floor. Take a look at the backyard here, and the hedges need to be trimmed and. Minor cleanup, but it's a very nice backyard. Some nice oak trees in the neighboring yard there. And it's very private. There's a shed that needs to be torn down. It's 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 not gonna last. Let's count that in on the demo. And there's your backyard. And you can see if, if you're looking from here, the shingles are in great shape from both sides. There's no active leaks on the inside. But, uh, it's a decision to be made later. All the windows are the original windows. They're all Jalousie windows. And they all work. They're all in good shape. The uh, homeowner that was living here kept it in pretty good condition. For a rental property, we would keep that um, as is. We would just repair any uh, broken panes or cracked panes, if, if any. The only problem you will have is that the windows are not energy efficient. However, um, there's a lot of houses in this neighborhood that have old jalousy windows and it's common for tenants to uh, leave it and be okay with it as is. But again, a decision you can make to replace all the windows. Alright, so here we are in the kitchen and we've got original wood cabinets. These are solid wood in great shape. There's this um, sticker uh, floral design that they've put on here. That would need to be come, on, come off have the, kit, uh, the cabinets cleaned very well and repainted. And uh, 
I wouldn't do anything else with that. Um, you would you'd want to put some nice tile floor in here. There's a linoleum currently. Put a nice solid concrete backer board and then toss ceramic tile on top and that would last for a long time. New appliances would be needed. And then there's the countertop. Countertop's in great shape. Perfectly fine for rentals in this area. However, if you want to spruce it up, we do have a, uh, um, a discount on granite countertops that we could have installed for pretty cheap, and that would really spruce the place up. Maybe you could throw a tile backsplash on there as well. But the backsplash and countertop that is in place now is just fine. This needs to be cleaned. I would replace the back door to give it more security. And this door here leads into the carport. A couple of steps down. See how the car fits in there. So we're going to take a look inside the shed now. And I, excuse me, there's very little light. But you'll see the water heater is in place. It's slightly rusty. And as we're um, repiping the house, we would put a new water heater in as well. Your uh, washer and dryer um, connections are here. And then you've got storage back there. And it kind of goes up pretty high, so you don't have a lot of storage room. And then the flooring here, we would have that repainted just like we do the back patio. So white is what we go with on the trim and doors. And usually we go with a bamboo color um, tan on the walls for the rentals. They're easy to clean and they don't show as many dirt stains when they come up. So here we go through the hallway here. Uh, the air conditioning system is in place. It's a train unit. It's um, an older model and the exterior uh, air uh, condenser is in place also, which is a rarity. Um, for the rental properties, again, if you wanted to save some of your funds, um, you can make that AC last you another five years and then replace with a new one. Or if you wanted to start fresh, we could put that in as well. A new AC unit is in the budget for this property, just to be safe. So here's the bathroom. Hall bath. You've got pink tile floors, pink surround. Um, we would want to keep that a little bit more neutral and maybe go with a white, uh, a white tile. You could uh, repaint this as well as the tub. And then we would retile the floor. So you have all that new white, new shower valve with the repipe. The uh, vanity is in wonderful shape, no need to replace that. Uh, we would go ahead and replace the toilet just to give an updated uh, tool there. And if you wanted to, you could do the vanity to finish up the bathroom with all new everything. But you could save $100 and just keep the one that's there. Down the hall, here we are, you got the uh, upgraded electrical, or newer than the home for sure, it's 150 amps, more than enough for the house. Here's your bedroom one. And bedroom two. So again, refinishing the hardwood floors, repainting. New door hardware, repairing and painting the doors, the uh, new light fixtures. And then we move here into the bedroom number three, which is the master bedroom. It's got kind of the corner window there. They've added a uh, wall uh, window unit there for additional heating, or excuse me, additional cooling. So um, what's unique about this room is that it has a walk-in closet. It has one normal closet which most of these houses around here have little closet space, but this one has an additional large walk-in closet. It'll be a huge selling point for the new tenants or for the new homeowners. Half bath. The tile floor is really not that offensive. It's kind of gray with pink dots, but you, know, you could keep it as is. You could keep both tile floors as is. It would rent out just fine, but we'd go ahead and retile while we're at it and doing the renovation, put a new toilet in and new vanity, new mirror and new fixtures, and make that bathroom very nice. So that's it, three bedrooms, one and a half bath, 
minimal repairs. Uh, we could do the additional upgrades and put a new roof on and new HVAC system. Uh, we definitely want to repipe and the electrical is good to go. So uh, we'll put the budget together and uh, submit that along with this video.